let's do more of the DVD and video stuff. All right. First, <clears throat> this is DOA The End, and this is a full show from 1990 from the DNA Lounge in fabulous San Francisco. And it's got Jello B. Offer at the end singing <clears throat> while doing a little talk called Die for Oil Suckers. Then he sings That's Progress from the Last Scream of the Missing Neighbors collaboration record by Jello B. Offer and DOA, which is a, one of the best records ever. Anyway, um, and then he sings Full Metal Jack Off. And then he sings Disco Sucks, which... Well, I don't think all disco sucks. Um, the village people are great. Anyway, uh, this thing has a great interview with Joey Shithead, and it's a great show. So, DOA, the end, with Jello Biafra. It's worth picking up. And more DOA. This is the 30th anniversary DVD, and it's all the videos they ever made plus an extended version on CD of Northern Avenger. And the additional songs on the CD that aren't on the record album, well, uh, they're not really necessary. But what's great about this is you get all the videos, and there's like, I don't know, 30, 35 of them concert footage, stuff like that. And then you can make another choice on the menu. And this is the selling point. Get ready. Joey Shithead talks and explains the videos. So if he if it's a video from the Olympic Auditorium in Los Angeles, California, um, then you hear him talking about what it was like to do shows in that area at that time, at that place, which was Los Angeles, and so on and so on. So uh, the part where Joey Shithead is talking makes this thing a must-have. Lots of interesting history with DOA. And here's more. <clears throat> DOA. This is Hardcore Music Volume 1. It's a color VHS tape. Target Video Presents. <clears throat> Let's open this up. That's what you get. Wow, this thing's cracking. There you go. With the VHS tape. I bought this. Hmm. Oh, Underground Records. In Las Vegas, Nevada. This thing's got... <laughs> this thing's got Black Flag, Code of Honor, Toxic Reasons, DOA, The Lewd, Sick Pleasure, MDC, Flipper, and The Sex Pistols. Um, I'm sure this is on a DVD somewhere, but this was one of the very first music video things I ever bought. Might have been the first. Okay. This is a movie, but it's also kind of like a music video thing. This is Man, Oh Man, Oh Mansfield, The Girl Can't Help It, with Little Richard, Fats Domino, Julie London. Wow, the Julie London part. Gene Vincent, The Platters, and Eddie Cochran. So if you're into the rock and roll, <clears throat> then you'll really enjoy this movie. Okay, here's Guar. Guarnage Campaign. Yeah, Guar, the Guarnage Campaign. This is a Guar show. A Dave Brocky Guar show. And it is from... I don't even see when this was from. Um, <clears throat> what year? Anyway, it's, you know, mid-90s, I think, or maybe late-90s. Anyway, it's a Guar show. It's pretty good. <clears throat> Here's the Germs Media Blitz, the Germ story. It's got a DVD live from the whiskey, and then it's got a CD 
Here's the DVD. Here's the CD. And the CD is kind of like um, the germ's greatest hits. Anyway, this thing's really good. Definitely worth picking up if you're digging the germs. <clears throat> All right. This is the Rolling Stones. Give me shelter. This thing has the... Uh, oh, what's that called? Um, the... Oh, what was that called? Where Altamont? Yeah, this thing's got the Altamont on it. I don't know what that piece of paper was doing. Oh, I know why that's in there, because this thing's busted. I'll have to replace that. Anyway, this thing's got the Altamont show on it, with the stabbing and, and, and all that. And this disc is cracked. Right there. There's a crack in it. So the last part of this doesn't play. But the Altamont part does, so I keep it. But I, I bought it, I didn't inspect it, and a cracked disc is what I got. And this cover thing will have to go in the trash. Because I have covers to cover this that aren't broken. Okay. This is GBH, Indianapolis, 1986. This is a bootleg VHS tape. And the quality isn't very good. It's a cool show. They play lots of good songs. Songs from Midnight Madness and beyond, but it is not very good in quality. All right. Oh, this is great. This is great. Um... This DVD is the history of punk rock shows that happened in Fresno, California. And it, it's really good. Interviews with um, promoters. Um, a great um, story about when the Ramones came to town and and stuff like that. Anyway, Fresno, California, punk rock history. Right here. And it's, um, what is it? this thing doesn't even really have a name. Valley Hardcore Booking, um, Golden Age of Punk Rock, 1982 to 1987. Conversation with Vince Barla, Barla? Yeah, Vince Barla, 80s. Fresno punk rock gig promoter, and I got this off of a um, off of off of a Fresno punk rock website. All right, um, this is I'll get into this later because what this thing is actually here's one of them. What this thing is is a transfer from the VHS tape, and this is the exploited. A documentary of the 1988 tour. I bought this from Flipside Magazine. And this is a transfer of that, along with No Bunny and the Dickies. Um, the Dickies tribal video, the one they did when they went to Europe, kind of like the Bad Religion, the two tribal videos they did. Anyway, this is a transfer I paid somebody to do. All right. This is the Sex Pistols Pissed movie. It's good. It's on VHS. All right, this I got from Flipside Magazine, and this is the Exploited um, live at the Palm Cove in London, England. And this footage is pretty good. Let's see. Yeah, that's what the tape looks like. There you go. Um, when was this recorded? Doesn't really say, but this is an early one with Cop Cars and Barmy Army. Um, I think Troops of Tomorrow was, was the new album when this concert was recorded. This thing ain't shutting. Anyway. And the last one for today. The El Duce Tapes. And this is <clears throat> a 
guy from a soap opera was hanging around the mentors and taking footage and hanging out with El Duce and again taking footage and he finally compiled all that footage and put it into this little movie about El Duce and the mentors. And if you ever watch this thing, wow, you, you just, it makes you feel sorry for El Duce. Um, after seeing this, he's not as entertaining as he was before seeing this. He's just kind of a sad guy who was trying to please his father, some weird stuff, I don't know. Anyway, it's, it's good, but it's not. All right, that's it. I'm going to go to a show tonight at the Outer Limits Lounge to go see a band called Free to Kill. They're from New York City, and I hope that they're great. Who knows? Ah, geez, I don't know if I should continue with these um, DVD music things. You, you let me know. There's a bunch there. Anyway. All right. That's it.